Hello friends. Happy New Year to all my hydrographic friends. How are you? Now it is 2024 and we all now wants to start our new journey from this year now. Hopefully I will see you soon frequently in this channel in this year because I was a little bit busy in the last couple of years so that I am not available more frequently as you expected. One of my subscriber requested me to please provide a channel design regarding the carp channel. Uh, earlier I just uh, demonstrate you how to formulate a channel in a straight portion but in case of carp portion it is much more uh, not so much difficult but it is uh, mm, the thing is quite uh, different from the straight portion. Uh, from now I have to provide you some hands-on training regarding this carp channel so I move on to my hypex software it's loading now okay it's coming uh, which project I have to load my project for the carp section okay. navigate to my project location maybe it is located in my L drive okay my L drive is a project yeah, this one this there you go there is a project named carp yeah this one so simply double click on it and it's a blank project uh, for the convenience of my channel subscribers um, or and viewers also uh, I made a blank project first so that you can follow me step by step now before I move on to that I have to click on my GeoDC to check uh, what is my coordinate system uh, yeah it's a 45 coordinate uh, UTM north and the zone is 45 and always if you work in elevation mode then you must check it and if you work in a depth mode then uh, no need to check this okay I am working in a depth mode so I don't check it out okay okay um, now I uh, for car portion you have to uh, digitize the river first in a Google Earth I know uh, somebody familiar with the Google Earth so I am not uh, go through details about it from that KML file you have to convert that center line into your AutoCAD file in it must be in DXF format I do that sort of thing so and it is loaded in my background files background file means you can't change or edit that types of file it's also a, it is a DXF file okay you can see this is my river and this is the carp channel okay always river is a metering in all portion of the world so you can't find a straight portion straight portion you find in a sea and uh, some other canal but uh, most of the rivers are mindering and also carved so this is uh, my center line so now you have to convert it into lnw file because uh, most of the lnw files used in channel design okay it's a dxf file so right click on it and then go to there is a drop down box and you have to find out uh, this one export to lnw so i export convert this autocad file into my desired lnw files okay click on it now make sure that um, which layer this center line is located my uh, in AutoCAD file this line is loaded in my plan file okay so just right click on it and then check this out this is plan lines and you have to naming the scheme as you wish I prefer this source of changes now click on the export tab simply renaming it as C 
cielo. close it you can see this is my lnw file most importantly the easting and northing file is automatically loaded that is in your dxf file okay let's cut it and then move on to the preparation and then go to the channel design now channel design central load it import it actually this is zero then what is our my z z files what is my depth mode Maybe four three my chain is the start chain is zero in my case then click on the chain is then left toe offset it my total bottom width is 40 meters so i have to subdivide it into 20 to 20 so 20 20 and the side slope is 3 horizontal is to 1 vertical so tap it then similarly in the right toe let's move it and then depth mode top of the bank it's a depth mode file so top of the bank must be uh, in or cut portion of the slope so it is in because it is depth mode so in uh, higher you go the negative increases and the lower you, lower i go the positive value is increasing so simply i plot minus 10 and also minus 10 okay i want 10 meter interval sections cross sections actually now i just click on this also smart corner is check it out then generate now we can see the view so that i can view which file it is oh yeah here you go you can see all my channels are generated smoothly i have to investigate my card portion more specifically yeah this looks also nice okay out oh yeah it is simply it's okay. okay so my investigation is over you have also checked the 3d view yeah, 3d view of my channel okay just cut it Now I save my all sorts of things in my plan. First of all, I have to save the plan line files. So design plan. plan. Now save to LNW. This is also uh, actually the cross section file. And it is design section. Sections. Sections. And this is my full channel file. Design channel. Okay. Oh. Now I got all things, all sorts of things, and now see how it looks like actually. Now I check this channel profile okay. and this channel. This is my center line. And this is my, my right toe, and this is my left toe, and this is my slope. Actually, it is minus 10 meter. Okay. And my plan line files, I have to check it also. Okay, this is my plan line files. You can see my cross section is generated from chain is 0 to at an interval of 10 meter to. And I will reach it out in the last question. Okay, you can see it is 45 kilometer. Oh, huge channel. 
if you double if i double click on it then you can see the first channels it is the start of the line coordinates easting and nothing and the end of the line easting and nothing coordinate template you can see the template is automatically generated it's three is to one slope three horizontal is to one vertical and then all sorts of things are automatically generated so it is quite simple to generate the design session in a kind of channel okay now i have to see okay now i want to show you how my channel look alike okay to do this i have to i have you to navigate to the preparation navigate to the preparation to navigate to the preparation and editor tab you can find advanced channel design channel design and just load your design channel file to design channel file okay here you go you can see my channel is loaded automatically and you can see my facing the more information you can find through this channel through this box actually and um, if i want to show you uh, the 3d view of my channel just click on this 3d just click on this 3d just click on this 3d and move on to and move on to and move on to the and move on to my the x-axis 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 is X-axis is X-axis is X-axis is 60 and the ratio is 5 and if I apply it apply it and ok then you can see just zoom it can see my channel okay now i think it's clearly visible to all of you how will your channel look alike in the bottom is 20 meter and the side slope okay that's it okay that's it from today hope you all enjoy my videos and please uh, subscribe my channel and promote my channel so that i got inspiration from you and Bye from now. Have a good day.